You're watching Channel's television broadcasting live from Lagos, Nigeria. Do stay with us as we bring you a live coverage of the passing out parade and commissioning ceremony of cadets of 69 regular course at the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna. This is a live Channel's television event.
Vital guest, ladies and gentlemen, may I, at this point, have the honor and privilege to recognize and now means the presence of the Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Bashir Salehi Magacho, retired. So you are highly welcome to this uh, auspicious occasion of the 69 regular course personnel parade. Your Excellencies, very senior officers have been retired, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Any moment from now, we expect the arrival of the special guest of honor and revealing officer for the personal parade of the 69 regular course of the Nigerian Defense Academy. Distinguished invited guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen. The Academy Pipers have just signaled the arrival of His Excellency, the Ravine Officer, for today's personal parade. Any moment from now, the Ravine Officer will be in our midst for the personal parade.
Your Excellencies, very senior military officers, but some are retired. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we have been waiting for. I have the singular honor and privilege to announce the arrival of the Ravine Officer for the passing out parade of 69 regular calls, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander, Federal Republic, President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, in company of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kaduna State, Marlon Nasru, Ahmed El Rafai, and the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy. Your Excellency, you are most welcome to Nigerian Defense Academy venue this morning for the personal parade of 69 regular calls of Nigerian Defense Academy. This shall rise for the national anthem. Thank you. Thank you. At the moment, the parade commander, Academy Senior Under Officer N.C. Nwedi, is marching smartly to give the parade and thereafter invite the Ravine Officer to inspect the parade. Academy Senior Under Officer N.C. Nweze has just submitted the parade state to the Revenue Officer. There are 33 Senior Under Officers, 384 Gentlemen Officer candidates on parade, and thereafter invites the Revenue Officer for the inspection of the parade. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, very senior officers but serving and retired, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It may interest you to know that it is customary 
for the reviewing officer to inspect the guard before the commencement of the parade. The inspection is done to showcase the loyalty of the troops and their readiness to undertake the course for which they have been commissioned and enlisted. At the moment, the Ken Odleys, Cadet G.U. Idehi and Cadet C.E. Amechi are marching smartly ahead of the inspection vehicle. At the moment, the reviewing officer is proceeding to inspect the parade with him in the inspection vehicle is the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General I. M. Yusuf, and the Parade Commander, Academy Senior Under Officer N. C. Nwezi. At the moment, the remaining officer is approaching the number one guard. Beside the number one guard is the academy adjutant, Lieutenant Colonel J.B. Sabo, sitting astride on the number one academy charger, Sambisa 37. The academy adjutant is the custodian of custom and regimentation in the academy, as well as enforcement of discipline on behalf of the commandant. Indeed, he is a mentor and role model to the cadet and his subordinate officers alike. The number one guard is being commanded by the cadet, by the academy cadet adjutant, S.H. Abdullahi. He's being assisted by three sub guard commanders. At the moment, the reviewing officer is inspecting the number two guard. The guard is being commanded by battalion senior under officer D.B. Abba. He's been assisted by three sub guard commanders. At the moment, the review officer is inspecting the number three guard. The number three guard is being commanded by a battalion senior under officer J. Salisu. He's been assisted by three sub guard commanders. Number four guard is being commanded by a battalion senior under officer T.F. Sikiru. He's been assisted by three sub guard commanders. Between number four and five guard is the color party. There are two colors on parade. The ensign to the national color is company senior under officer C.E. Wafo, while the ensign to the academy regimental color is company senior under officer Y.O. Ibrahim. Behind the color party, is the Academy Regimental Sergeant Major Army Warrant Officer Saad Muhammad. At the moment, the Revealing Officer is expecting the number five guard. The guard is being commanded by Battalion Senior Under Officer VG Lukoja, being assisted by three sub guard commanders. The number six guard is being commanded by Battalion Senior Under Officer AB Okoro. He's being assisted by three sub guard commanders. The number seven guard is being commanded by battalion student officer El Salman and being assisted by three sub guard commanders. Currently, the review officer is approaching the number eight guard is being commanded by battalion senior under officer AC Akunyalam. He's being assisted by three sub guard commanders. Beside the number eight guard is the assistant academy adjutant, squadron leader 
DT Zaka, seated astride the number two academic charger, Crocodile Smile. Directly behind the color party is a mass band commanded by Major J.I. Zuaka and has been assisted by Major A.I. Okbolo, Lieutenant Commander A.A. Sani, and Master Warrant Officer Vincent Nwabunike, providing the scintillating musical interlude for this personal parade. Your Excellencies, very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today's passing out cadets are members of the 69 regular course of this prestigious institution. It will interest you to know that members of the 69 regular course initially comprises 345 cadets when they reported to the academy on 22nd September in the year 2017. Today there are 237 personnel cadets comprising of 107 army, 272 naval cadets, and 58 Air Force cadets. It may also interest you to know that, in, that each guard is attached with a guard instructor. These drill instructors contributed immensely in molding these gentlemen officer cadets into what we are witnessing this morning. It is the pride of the drill instructors to march behind the guards at guards instructors. The Academy Drill Regimental Sergeant Major is Warrant Officer Idris Muhammad. And 37 personal cadets comprising of 107 army cadets, 72 naval cadets, and 58 Air Force cadets. At the end of the inspection, the parade commander will seek permission to carry on with the rest of the parade from the reviewing officer. Academy Senior Under Officer N.C. Nweze has just sought presidential permission to carry on with the rest of the parade at the, in, at the end of the inspection.
At the end of the inspection, the Ken Odleys, Kedet G.U. Idehi, and Kedet C.E. Amechi are now marching smartly to take their position at the Selitun base. May I, at this point, humbly request the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy to please invite the European officer to please take his seat, the Commandant, sir. Your Excellencies, very sisters, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The next item on the program is the presentation of Champions Banner. Yeah. The Champions Banner is presented to cadet battalion that emerges overall best in all training activities in each training year in the academy. This tradition is aimed at rewarding hard work and discipline. At the moment, the number three guard, which is the champion battalion, is swapping position with the number one guard in preparation for the champion banner presentation. This year's champion battalion is Mogadishu Battalion. Moment, Battalion Senior Under Officer Jay Salisu is marching the champion battalion to take their rightful position for the presentation of the champion banner. Makadishu Battalion emerged the overall winner of the 2021 2022 training year by winning a total of nine trophies, four majors, and five minor training events. Magadishu Battalion emerged winner in cross-country competition, shooting competition, drill competition, and exercise camp island. Other trophies won by Magadishu Battalion include volleyball competition, judo competition, 
badminton competition, boxing, and table tennis, table tennis competition. To the right sitting position of the European officer is the Banai Biara. The Banai Biara is the Academy Duty Regimental Sergeant Major. One of Officer Idris Mohammed marching smartly with the champion banner, being assisted, being escorted by escort of the banner, Kedet DC Ogbondaya and Kedet JA Ishaya. At the moment, cadets of Magadishu Battalion have taken their rightful position to receive the champion banner. Behind the battalion is the Academy Drill Sergeant, Warrant Officer Joshua Okokun, and Academy Adjutant, sitting astride on his charger, Sambisa 37. At this point, may I humbly invite the commanding officer of Magadishu Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Y. Salisu, to take post for the champion banner presentation, the CEO, sir. The commanding officer, Mogadishu Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Y. Salisu, is being accompanied by the ensign to the champion banner, Cadet Corporal M.D. Kabir, to take post, or rather have taken post, for the presentation of the champion banner. The champion banner will be presented to the champion battalion by the Cadet's Brigade Commander. The Cadet Brigade Commander is Brigadier General U.A. Lawan. He is responsible for the administration of cadets and the development of their character. May I request the Cadet Brigade Commander to do us the honor of receiving the champion banner, the banner bearer, and hand it over to the commanding officer, Mogadishu Battalion. Moments, the Cadet Brigade Commander is marching smartly to receive the champion banner from the Academy Drill Regiment Sergeant Major Warren Officer Idris Mohammed, and thereafter hands over to the Commanding Officer Magadishu Battalion, who will in turn hand it over to the ensign to the, of the champion banner. At the moment, the Cadet Brigade Commander has just received the champion banner. And turned March smartly, handed over to the Commanding Officer, Mogadishu Battalion, who will now in turn hand it over to the ensign of the champion banner, Cadet Corporal M.D. Kabir, of Magadishu Battalion. As a mark of honor, the champion but
as a mark of honor to the champion battalion, the Mars Band will now play the Academy Anthem for the champion battalion. Has been the Academy Anthem played in honor of the champion battalion. Having successfully executed the attacks on the parade ground, any moment the Cadet Brigade Commander and Commanding Officer Magadishu Battalion will march off the parade ground. the Brigade Commander and the Commanding Officer Magadishu Battalion paying compliments to the Ravine Officer having successfully executed the attacks at the parade ground. Moment the ensign of the champion banner, Kidet Corporal MD Kabir, is being accompanied by the Academy Regiment Sergeant Major and escort to the champion banner to join up with the champion battalion. Excellency, the Dean of Sasa, very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for imagine the winner of the champion banner, Magadushu Battalion will now enjoy the honor of proudly displaying the champion's banner in the march pass in slow time. The champion battalion will also enjoy the use of academic colors as their shoulder flap. Additionally, the cadets of Champion Battalion will have the honor of wearing their lanyard on the right as against left as worn by other cadets in the academy.
Mm -hmm. Your Excellency, the Revealing Officer, sir. Mogadishu Battalion is one of the four regular battalions under the Cadets Brigade, Syrian Defense Academy. Others are Abyssinia, Dalet, and Burma Battalions. The battalion is organized into a battalion headquarters and three companies, namely Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie companies. The battalion is currently commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Y. Salis. He is assisted by a second in command and a battalion adjutant. Each of the three companies is commanded by an officer commanding and also assisted by a company second in command. For effective training and administration, the companies are further organized into platoons comprising of cadets from 69 to 73 regular courses. The most senior cadet appointment in the unit is the battalion senior under officer. He is assisted by other cadets appointments in the day-to-day -day administration of other cadets, among which are the company senior under officers, cadet regimental sergeant major, cadet regimental quartermaster sergeant, cadet company sergeant majors, cadet sergeants, corporals, and lance corporals. Mogadishu Battalion was formerly known as Cameroon Company at the inception of NDA. It was later renamed Mogadishu Company. It was upgraded from company to battalion status after the restructuring and transformation of the Nigerian Defense Academy into a degree awarding institution in 1986. The battalion derived its name Mogadishu from the capital of Somalia following the gallant performance of the exploits of the Nigerian soldiers in the East African campaign during the World War II. Nigerian troops exhibited great courage and tenacity in the capture of Mogadishu to the admiration of British officers, despite their small number. The battalion was therefore named Mogadishu in recognition of the lofty feats and sacrifices of these gallant men. The battalion is identified by its red color, which signifies actions and sacrifices made by our gallant Nigerian troops in the Battle of Mogadishu. Its anthem is titled Champion Battalion, and its motto, Only for Action Men. Mogadishu Battalion is known for its resilience when it comes to training and quest for victory in championships. The battalion has won the championship twice in the 2017-2018 and the 2018-2019 respectively in the last training years. This championship spirit drives the cadets to perform exceptionally well to train and to win. The battalion actively participated in all the cadet brigade inter-battalion competitions, which include obstacle crossing, cross country, drill, push up, sit up, and beam heaving, interior economy, shooting, Camp Initial, Camp Farauta, camp and Camp Highland. It also participated in sports and athletics competitions, amongst others. Mogadishu Battalion currently tops the Cadets Brigade Inter-Battalion Competition Chart with the most trophies in cross-country, drill, Camp Highland, combat shooting, 
and sports competition for the 2021-2022 training year. The battalion once again emerged at the champion. against the other three battalions, Magadishi Battalion, capable officers, men and civilian staff working as seriously as a team to ensure discipline, hard work and excellence is maintained on the part of the cadets. The battalion is committed to sustaining the drive to bring out the best in the cadets and also in pursuit of NDA training objectives. Mogadishu Battalion is known for its actions and famous for winning championships, shall continue to strive for more victories and excellences. Mogadishu Battalion hopes to continue to reign and reign forever. Your Excellency, the Revenue Officer, sir, very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, as the champion battalion swaps to its original position, we have come to the end of champion banner presentation. We shall now witness match pass by the person out, candidates.
Your Excellency, the European Officer, sir, very senior officers, God serve and are retired, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, those word of command from the parade commander, Academy Senior Under Officer N.C. Nwezi, has just triggered the commencement of the march past in slow time. Mark of respect, the parade is marching forward to pay special compliment to their president and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. moment, the parade is paying compliment to the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Having paid special compliments to the remaining officer, the parade is retiring to commence the parade from.
moment. Cadet are now marching gracefully, full of vigor and enthusiasm, taking 65 paces per minute. I please remind our esteemed guest as the color party marches to your sitting position, you are please expected to rise as a mark of honor, respect, officers, and what an officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. Mind our esteemed guests as the color party marches to your sitting positions. You are expected to rise, officers, and what an officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. At this point, may I respectfully request the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy to please invite the Revenue Officer to the saluting days, the Commandant Sir. Your Excellency, the Revenue Officer, sir, approaching salute the saluting days, astride the Academy's number one charger is the Academy Adjutant, Lieutenant Colonel J.B. Sabo. Astride the Academy's number one charger, Sambisa 37. As the name implies, the Revenue Officer, sir, Sambisa 37 was once a very stubborn horse that wouldn't take part in parade. But the touch of Lieutenant Colonel J.B. Sabo has turned this horse around and has participated actively in three consecutive passing out parades. It was named Sambisa 37 in honor of the 37 regular course of which the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General I.M. Yusuf, is a proud member. At the moment, paying compliments to the Revenue Officer is the Parade Commander, Academy Senior Officer N.C. Nweze. Behind him is the number one guard, commanded by Academy Cadet Adjutant S.H. Abdullahi. He's been assisted by three sub-guard commanders. Right sub-guard commander is Company Senior Officer E.N. Ire, while Center Sub-guard commander is Company Senior Officer DP Web and the left sub guard commander is company senior under officer KF Onyama. The instructor behind the number one guard is warrant officer Joshua Okokun. At the moment is the number two guard paying compliment to the European officer. The guard commander is battalion senior under officer DB Abba, assisted by three sub guard commanders, right sub guard commander, company senior under officer AM Ridwan. Center sub guard commander is company senior under officer. M. Musa and the left sub guard commander is Company Senior Under Officer OF FM Umar. The instructor behind the number two guard is Staff Sergeant Monde Ayuba. The number three guard is being commanded by Battalion Senior Under Officer J. Salisu, being assisted by three sub guard commanders Company Senior Under Officer S. A. Zira, right sub guard commander, and uh, Company Senior Under Officer J. O. A. J left sub guard commander. The instructor behind the guard is Staff Sergeant Umar Abdullahi. The number four guard is being commanded by Battalion Senior Officer T.F. Sikiru, being assisted by three sub guard commanders, Company Senior Officer D.L. Phillips, right sub guard commander. Center sub guard commander is Company Senior Officer A. Adedokun, while the left sub guard commander is Company Senior Officer L.O. Abdussalam. 
the instructor behind the guard is Staff Sergeant Uchidi Danjuma. At the moment, is the color party paying compliment to the European officer. The ensign to the national color is company senior and officer C.E. Wafo, while the ensign to the academy regimental color is company senior and officer Y.O. Ibrahim. Behind the color party is the academy regimental sergeant major army warrant officer Saad Muhammad. At the moment is the number five guard paying compliment to the European officer. The guard is being commanded by a battalion senior and officer V.G. Likoja being assisted by three of guard commanders, company senior and officer Y.N. Saidu, right of guard commander, while center of guard commander is company senior and officer A.A. Sadiq, and left of guard commander, company senior and officer F. Yusuf. The instructor behind the number five guard is Staff Sergeant Mohammed Baba. At the moment is the number six guard, commanded by battalion senior and officer A.B. Okoro, Assisted by three sub guard commanders, senior under officer DR Asona, company senior under officer MO Oyibe, and company senior under officer EA Smart, while the instructor behind the guard is uh, Staff Sergeant Suleiman Adamu. The number seven guard is being commanded by battalion senior under officer El Salman, being assisted by three sub guard commanders, senior under officer YA Booker, and company senior under officer. J.A. Abubakar, and lastly but not the least, is the left of guard commander, company senior officer L.C. Tangon. The instructor behind the guard is Staff Sergeant Itodo Ezekiel. At the moment, is the number eight guard commanded by battalion senior officer A.C. Akunyelan, assisted by three sub guard commanders, company senior officer A.M. Abacha, right sub guard commander. Setter sub guard commander is company senior officer A.A. Adam, and the left of guard commander is company senior under officer E.N. Barrow. The instructor behind the guard is uh, Staff Sergeant Jonah Musa. Paying compliment to the European officer is the Assistant Academy Adjutant Squadron D.T. Zaka, sitting astride Academy Number Two Charger, Crocodile Smile, providing the scintillating musical interlude for today's passing out parade is the Mars Band. Commanded by Major J.I. Zwaka and being assisted by Major A.I. Ugolo, Lieutenant Commander A.A. Sani, and Master Warrant Officer Vincent Nwabunwike.
that has been a beautiful transition from slow march to quick time by the person out kidded. I once again remind our esteemed guests as the color party marches to a sitting positions, you are requested to rise officers and warrant officers in uniform are to salute. Thank you. the Commandant Night Strike Defense Academy to please invite the Revealed Officer to please take his seat, the Commandant.
the moment the parade is marking time in a synchronized order in preparation for marching in review order. Your Excellency, the European Officer, sir, our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the next item on the program is presentation of award to deserving personnel candidates. Permit me at this point to humbly request the Director of Military Training, Nigerian Defense Academy, Brigadier General E. E. Emirkad, to please conduct this segment of the personnel parade, the DMT, sir. President Muhammadu Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. Your Excellency, the Senate President and Speaker of House of Representatives, members of the National Assembly here present, Your Excellencies, the Executive Governors of Kaduna and Niger State, Honorable Member Rong, Honorable Minister of Defense and Agriculture, the Chief of the Defense Staff, Services Chief and Inspector General of Police, the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Commandants of Training Institutions here present, Formation Commanders, the Deputy Commandant and Academy Provost Nigerian Defense Academy, Senior Officers Serving and Retired, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, the President of Defense and Police Officers Wife Association and members here present, Captains of Industries, Civilian Staffs of Nigerian Defense Academy, Parents and Guardians of Personal Cadets, Gentlemen Cadets, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am Brigadier General E.E. E. Emeka, 
the Director of Military Training, Nigerian Defense Academy. It is my honor to anchor the presentation of award to deserving cadets of 69 regular course, Army, Navy, and Air Force. Serving cadets is a symbolic part of passing out parades of the academy. It is part of the academy recognition and excellence reward system meant to encourage cadets to excel and be all they can be. In this regard, awards are presented to cadets who distinguish themselves during the training season in the academy. The awards to passing out cadets who were outstanding during the stay in the academy is in line with the Nigerian Defense Academy standing orders on cadets training. Three categories of awards will be presented today. The silver medal, gold medal, and the sword of honor. May I only mention that some awards were given to deserving recipients during the dinner night and beating of the retreat, which took place on the 29th September and 30th September, respectively. Seven categories of awards were presented during the dinner night. These were the Commandant's Batmanship Award, the Deputy Commandant's Leadership Award, which is co-sponsored by the Martin Luther Aguay International Leadership and Peacekeeping Center. Others were the Director of Military Training Award for Combat Sports, Male and Female Categories, as well as the Cadets Brigade Commanders Award for Excellence. Also presented during the dinner nights were the Bronze Medal and Indian Shields for various services. During the beating of the retreat, six awards were presented. These were the Man Management Award, the Sportmen and Sportwomen of the Course Award, the most outstanding female cadets of the course for Army and Navy, as well as the most outstanding cadet in common to services training. Now to the awards for today, starting with the silver medal. The silver medal is given to the second best cadet in order of merit among the personal cadets. The award is based on the cumulative performance covering the cadet stay in the academy. For 69 regular course Air Force, the award winner is NDA 11551, Company Senior Underwriter, D.I. Modo. Company Senior Officer Modo had a cumulative average of 71.31%. Next is 69 regular course Navy Silver Medal. The award winner for 69 regular course Navy Silver Medal is NDA 11686, Company Senior Underwriter RD Aso Honor. Company Senior Dowsa Asona had a cumulative average of 87.44%. Next is 69 Regular Course Army Silver Medal. The award winner for 69 Regular Course Army Silver Medal is NDA 11119. Company Senior Dowsa YN Seidu. Company Senior Underwriter Seidu had a cumulative average of 81.67%. Next is gold medal. The gold medal is given to the best cadet in order of merit among the personal cadets. The award is based on a cumulative performance covering the cadets in the academy. For 69 regular course efforts, the award winner is NDA 11506, Company Senior Underwriter A. Ogunju Meni. Company Senior Underwriter Ogunju Meni had a cumulative average of 72.03%.
Gold Medal Navy. The award winner for 69 regular course is NDA 11686, Company Senior Under CNNE. Company Senior Under Officer Annie had a cumulative average of 88.42%. Next is Gold Medal Army. The award winner for 69 regular course is NDA 11625, Academy Senior Under Officer NC Mweze. Academy Senior Under Officer Mweze had a cumulative average of 88.62%. Now to the Grand Award, the Sword of Honor. The Sword of Honor is presented to the best all-round cadet of the passing out course to be commissioned. It is based on a cumulative performance covering the five-year stay of the cadet in the academy. In granting this award, consideration is usually given to the cadet's performance in academics, common to service subjects, personal qualities, leadership, and extracurricular activities as applicable during the cadet stay in the academy. Accordingly, the best cadet deserving of this award is NDA 11625, Academy Senior Under Officer NC Mweze. With a cumulative average of 88.62%. May I now call on the Academy Adjutant to march forward the award winners. Nigerian Defense Academy to invite the special guest of honor to present the award to the award winners. The Commandant, sir. Silver Medal Air Force. And the 11551 Company Senior Dowser DI Modo. Silver Medal Navy, NDA 11686, Company Senior Under Officer RD Asuana. Company Senior Under Officer Asuana won the most outstanding female cadets award for Navy.
The award was presented by the Chief of the Defense Staff during the beating of the retreat. Silver Medal Army, NDA 11119, Company Senior Underwriter, YN Seidu. Company Senior Underwriter, YN Seidu, also won the Indian Shield Army and the Commander's Maximanship Award, which were presented to him during the regimental dinner night by the Chief of the Defense Staff. Gold Medal Air Force, NDA 11506, Company Senior Underwriter A. Ogunje Meni. Oh. Company Senior Underwriter Ogunje Meni also won the Indian Shield Air Force, which was presented to him during the beating of the retreat by the Chief of the Air Staff. Gold Medal Navy, NDA 11626, Company Senior Underwriter CN Ani. Company Senior Underwriter CN Ani also won the Indian Shield Navy, which was presented to him during the regimental dinner night by the Chief of the Defense Staff. Gold Medal Army, NDA 11652, Academy Senior Underwriter, NC Mweze. Sword of Honor, NDA 11625, Academy Senior Underwriter, NC Mweze.
Commandant to lead Mr. President back to his seat. Excellency the Reviewing Officer, sir, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of awards ceremony. The recipients are now marching back to their various guards gracefully with a silent prayer of appreciation to the Nigerian Defense Academy for acknowledging their hard work and commitment during their stay in the Academy. Smart table drill was carried out by Private Kefas Boss and Private Mustafa Husseini. Your Excellencies, very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the honor and privilege of listening to the address of the reviewing officer, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. May I humbly request the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, to please invite the reviewing officer for his address, the Commandant, sir. of the Senate, Executive Governors of Kaduna and Niger States, Chairman, Senate House Committee on Defense, and other members of the National Assembly, Honorable Ministers of Defense and Agriculture, Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, and Inspector General of Police, Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Heads of security agencies, invited guests, gentlemen cadets, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by thanking the commandant, staff and instructors, and gentlemen officer cadets for an outstanding parade this morning. Congratulations to you all and well done. I came here today bearing the burden of a nation that counts on your valor and to celebrate your willingness to offer yourselves to serve your beloved country. This honor to serve as a reviewing officer of the Passing Hour Parade of 69th Regular Course of the Nigerian Defense Academy would be my last as President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> what sets this academy apart is not just the primacy of discipline, but its first-class training curricula designed to transform young cadets into professionals with extraordinary skill set and knowledge to prevent, confront, and neutralize the contemporary and emerging threats 
facing our country and West African sub-region. I am aware that you are perhaps the most highly trained course since the establishment of this academy in 1964. Having completed our most methodical, corporeal, and academic training in line with the new capacity building philosophy of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You emerge in an era of expanding global security threats in the first seven years, we have set aside high-tech platforms and prioritized your needs to facilitate your training and commissioning. When this government came in 2015, we inherited a country at crossroads with bombs going off with frightening frequency even in our cities. And we came in, <coughs> excuse me, to manage the crisis. This administration has since come on board, procured over 550 naval platforms, out of which 319 have been delivered as part of the aggressive fleet recapitalization of the Nigerian Navy. We have also increased the number of Nigerian Air Force platforms by more than 38 percent and enhanced the serviceability rate of aircraft in the Nigerian Air Force infantry by over 70 percent. In pursuing this same objective, the Nigerian Army has received more than 2,000 units of various armored fighting vehicles, guns, and equipment. These are in addition to improved funding of the three services along with other security and intelligence agencies. These comprehensive and systematic acquisitions within seven years are not only unprecedented in the first 38 years, but they are also aligned with our pledge to safeguard and strengthen the security architecture of our country. Although this is not a forum to introduce you to military hardware, you are stepping out to inherit. It is imperative to identify the magnitude and complexities of conflicts surrounding us, while acknowledging that our measures have yielded results and we remain ever grateful for the sacrifices of members of the armed forces, we must brace up for the dimensions this conflict has taken. In our bid to fulfill our promise to neutralize Boko Haram, terrorism in the Northeast, which has spread to other neighboring countries. When we look over, the armed forces liberated areas occupied by the terrorists and gave the residents a new lease of life. And our commitment to resettling and rehabilitating the victims of the tragedy has been unwavering. I want to seize this opportunity to appeal to Nigerians that although we have recorded success in the conflict inherited, especially in the Northeast, the security challenges in the country have evolved and assumed other dimensions in some areas. We have devised both military and non-military methods to intervene and even rolled out an amnesty program to rehabilitate repentant terrorists who surrendered and laid down their arms unconditionally. Let me also commend our military for both kinetic and non-kinetic approaches they adopt in tackling some of our security challenges. 
Just yesterday, relief came for our country as the remaining 23 victims of the March 28th Abuja Kaduna train attack were released by the heinous terrorists. <clears throat> this feat was not achieved without our military. As the interventionist chief of defense staff action committee set up by General Leo Erabo was at the center of the development along with sister security agencies. I say bravo to our soldiers, officers, and gentlemen. Our tasks as the guardians of the nation are to prepare for the evolving and complex security situations and make sure that no terrorists can threaten Nigeria's sovereignty and integrity. In this regard, I have instructed the service chiefs to replicate the successes in the Northeast in other parts of the country. And I call on all Nigerians to continue to support our armed forces and security agencies. This administration has invested heavily in infrastructure with our rail, roads, seaports, airports, and power sector revitalized through strategic rehabilitation and reconstruction. The same template has been applied in tackling the challenges in the housing, water resources, and health sectors, and unsurprisingly, the first targets of attacks by terrorists are our thriving infrastructure, which was intended to make life easier for Nigerians, such as roads, railways, and power installations. The necessity to protect these key national infrastructure from being vandalized and stay ahead of the enemies of the state inspires our resolute to utilize executive orders to promote good governance. Furthermore, we have been allocating vast resources to support millions of farmers, traders, and entrepreneurs through interventions like Anchor Borrowers Program, the Presidential Fertilizer Initiative, and Social Agro-Industrial Processing Zones. These have made our national social investment program the largest of such programs in Africa. The Presidential and Evelyn Business Environment Council which we established in 2016 to drive cross-sectoral reforms to eliminate critical bottlenecks and bureaucratic constraints to doing business in Nigeria, and that the country moved 39 places up the World Bank ease of doing business, ranking from 170 to 100 and 31 under our watch in a testimony to these interventions and reforms. You must remember that the goal of the terrorists and insurgents is to destroy our reforms. U.S. is to safeguard economic and military capability of the nation. Our interventions and even where we dealt with saboteurs, were designed to prevent the collapse of the economy and revitalize the armed forces. And this is the legacy we are handing over to the next administration. This is an important point we must acknowledge, especially as election year draws closer. I am utterly committed to ensuring that the forthcoming elections are peaceful and transparent. And it is our collective responsibility to continue to work 
towards building a united and prosperous country. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, permit me now to return my attention to our graduating cadets, the heroes keenly awaited by the entire nation. Gentlemen cadets, I congratulate you once again and on this most memorable day of your lives. Your journey and career as officers in the armed forces of Nigeria begins today. There is no better time to prove your valor and demonstrate the virtues upon which the academy was founded in the defense of your fatherland. And I must and I trust you to do so with uncompromising dignity and honor. Your convergence here symbolizes our national unity, for you are all admitted into the academy from the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory to coexist and master the arts and science of building and defending your fatherland. You are required to replicate the social cohesion you experience during your time at the academy and be the unifying and incorruptible models of those you are trained to protect and bound by esprit de corps and love for your fatherland. I would like to facilitate with the families and friends of the cadets passing out today. Without your support, it would have been more difficult for these cadets to complete their fairly and in adjusting to the dictates of this institution. May I request you to continue to support them throughout their careers. As men and women who may frequently be away from their families, sometimes for a long time, they need your prayers, love, and emotional support to encourage them to do their best in the service of the nation. I now want to once again commend and congratulate the commandant, staff, and instructors of the academy for an excellent parade, and more importantly, for the recent overhaul of training curricula and methodologies in line with the dynamics of the contemporary operational requirements. Congratulations to the graduating cadets and congratulations to the Nigerian Defense Academy. Thank you and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
Shall we please rise for the national anthem? To fight past the colors, past the kids, and for the rest of the fray to mark off your excellence. Please turn it on. Thank you. Your excellency. Very senior officers, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, the parade commander, Academy Senior Under Officer Ant Simwezi, has just taken permission from the reviewing officer to proceed with the final part of the parade, which is the filing pass of the passing out cadets and the color party of the parade ground. Your Excellency, sir, the cadet appointments are now taking their positions in preparation for the filing pass. These passing out cadets 
will now embark on their last drill on this parade ground as cadets. Because in a few hours from now, they will cease to be passing our cadets. They will then be addressed as officers of the Nigerian Armed Forces, and they will play their roles in the defense of the territorial integrity of their fatherland. this esteemed gathering that after the passing of parade, there will be the peeping and commissioning ceremony, which will take place at the Academy Auditorium. And only guests with the requisite invitation cards will be admitted into the venue. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At the moment, the gentlemen of the citizens are falling fast, which is indeed a milestone in the lives of these passing out cadets. As the band plays a farewell tune. This implies that these cadets have come from different cultures and diverse backgrounds across all parts of Nigeria and even beyond to train as one. This will be the last time they will march together like this on this parade ground, as many of them may not get to see others forever. This indeed signifies the climax of their military training in the Nigerian Defense Academy. The next time they will be doing so, they will be coming back to the academy as instructors, senior instructors, assistant auditors, academy auditors, commanding officers, Chief Instructors, Directors, Cadet Brigade Commanders, Directors Military Training, Deputy Commandants, and if possible, as the Commandant. These young patriotic Nigerians 
deserve our collective prayers as they begin their careers in the defense of our dear country. To the passing out cadets, we say a very big congratulations. And may God be the wind beneath your wings. To our esteemed guests, parents, and guardians of passing out cadets, viewers, and listeners at home, on behalf of the commandant, staff, and cadets of the Nigerian Defense Academy, we would like to thank you all for being a part of this great and historic event. Wishing you all journey mercies to our various and respective destinations. There shall, be, there shall be a group photograph in front of the Academy headquarters. To our company's Excellency the Divine Officer, our Executive Governors here present, the Senate President, the Representative of the Speaker, House of Representatives, Chairman, Senate Committee on Defense, Chairman, House Committee on Defense, may I at this point humbly request the Commandant, Nigerian Defense Academy, to please invite the Reviewing Officer of the saluting dice, as I invite the admin officer, the commanding officer, admin battalion, Lieutenant Colonel N. D. Adamu, to please mount the saluting dice for the remaining part of the proceedings. May I, at this point, please request that the execu executive governors here present, the Senate President, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Chairman, Senate Committee on Defense. Chairman, House Committee on Defense, Honorable Minister of Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Service Chief and Inspector General of Police, and Royal Fathers here present, that you should please proceed to the front of the Academy headquarters ahead of the reviewing officer for the group photograph. And on behalf of the Academy Public Relations Officer, Major B. M. Jajira and Major A. B. Ajitata, I am Abdul Hamid Mohammed, wishing one and all journey mercies to our respective destinations. Thank you. And there you see President Muhammad Buhari exiting the arena. Such a historic and great day indeed for the soon-to-be-commissioned officers who, of course, will now be tasked with the work to guard the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Big day for them, definitely. The commissioning ceremony will be holding any moment from now, and then they will be officially known as officers of the Nigerian military. With that, we have come to the end of a live coverage of a passing out parade of cadets of 69 regular course of the Nigerian Defense Academy holding in Afaka, Kadun State. Do stay with us as we resume our lineup of regular programming. You've been watching a live channels television event.